Oh man. <laughs> okay, a while back I did an IPS mod on the Game Boy Color. Uh, you may remember the video, you may not. I don't even know if it's a real IPS screen or not. It looks okay, but it's actually smaller than the original screen. It's definitely an upgrade from the original screen, um, for sure. But it's it's not the best. Honestly, the colors aren't that great, and the screen is kind of smaller. But it is, you know, a step up from the original, obviously, having no backlight and generally not looking that great. Also, you had to put a little bit of Sharpie on the, the color color badge with the red part because it wasn't even the right color of red. Okay, enough of the word color. Basically, I debated whether or not I wanted to use the original. This is the very original shell or use the knockoff shell. So I ordered the knockoff shell in apple green or whatever they call it. And to the camera, you probably can't tell, but in real life, it is a little different. It's obviously cheaper, um, cheaper made. It's a little bit more of a blue dye in this one than this one. Very slight. It's close. You wouldn't know if you didn't have the other one next to it. Um, it also just feels a little bit cheaper. Um, I also, when I had this, it was bent. This was completely sort of like mm, U-shaped, slightly cupped. So I put a piece of wood on the table and flattened it out and added a little heat and tried to get it as straight as I could. It's better. I think it'll actually work pretty well now. So, let's get to taking it apart. Enough rambling, shall we? We're gonna do this mod. What we gotta do is take out the six tri-wing screws on the back, and I'll save you the hassle of watching this whole time. You're gonna have to take the two batteries out. And one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it, see you in a second. They're gone. So now, we're just going to take this back shell off. There's no strings or wires attached, and you can just gently slide it up. Do do do. The battery terminals might give you a little bit, but there you go. Now, what we got to do is we got to disconnect the screen at the top here. So just pull those little tabs gently. There we go. I like to take a thin little tiny screwdriver and gently slide it all the way down and just give it a little one of those, and that's usually pretty good. But that's very gentle, you could easily stab it, so maybe don't do it that way. Maybe use a plastic tool or something, or just pry it out by hand. I don't know. I don't know if that's the best technique, because you might tear into it. Now the next thing we gotta do is take these Phillips screws out. These are a little bit stripped. Yeah, these, these are a lot of bit stripped. Let me use a different bit. Okay. Okay. So with those removed, now you basically got this guy all free. Take the speaker with you. There you go. We'll put our motherboard aside. This is where I'm going to start to wonder if I'm going to start questioning myself once more off camera. But first, let's remove the buttons as well. So we'll put this and this here and this here and this here and this here. So take all of our buttons out. Oh, get them out of there. And I'm going to put them somewhere safe so that I don't lose them immediately. There we go. Now, I'm going to question whether I actually want to remove this screen and cut into it. If I do, I do. And I'll get back to you. Look at this thing. Ooh, sticking up on that end when you screw it down. But there's only two screws here. That's not going to go well. Went, 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 went. Like a seesaw over here. Went, 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 went. Left and right. It's, oh my god, it's so bad. I can't use it. I can't use it. I can't bring myself to use it. It's, it's too shit. Alright, so I really didn't like the aftermarket plastic shell, so I, I converted it to metal. Easily made it myself. <laughs> okay, so this includes a couple of machine screws. This is the boxy pixel, of course, everyone knows this. Um, what I want to check is I want to see if the screen actually fits in this right away. I think that it will. Um, and then we'll go from there. If the screen fits, then we're in good shape. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to dremel this beautiful aluminum shell. Ooh, close, but fairly well. Oh, I'll come back later. You're not supposed to see this bit. So I was able to gently put the screen in, and it, there is a bit of a gap around the bottom and around the top edge. It's not a perfect fit. It was a bit of a tough one. Um, but it's, it's not too bad. It's not, it's not terrible. It does fit. I was a little suspect it might not, but
but it does seem to fit with a couple of little gaps. I'm okay with that. I think we'll live. Um, the next thing I got to do is we got to put the, I think there's a uh, converter or whatever. Okay. Okay, so after, you know, using a dull pair of scissors for 45 minutes and then switching to a good pair, I got the Kapton tape on on the bottom, so that's nice and insulated. I don't think you actually need to do that. Then put this on top, fold it over. It's one of those little fun clips where you can't tell if you broke it or if you snapped it in the right spot or not until... There you go, I think that broke. I love those. And then... So that goes like that. All right, it's a good thing I did consult the manual because I remember this is a boxy pixel, so there's no AA batteries. Uh, you have to use a separate battery, so that means I gotta desolder the battery terminals. Uh, if you're doing this with the plastic shell, you can skip this step, but <laughs> I'm going a little far and beyond here, so we're gonna try and desolder the battery terminals. Let me start up the fume extraction. Get this out of the way, and what we gotta do next is remove these. going to be a difficult one. Okay, since the majority is removed with the desolder sucker, I'm just going to hold, do the old hold and pray, and hopefully that goes well for me. There it is. Okay, so we got one out, so that was a little bit tricky. We got one. It's probably super hot, so I'm going to put that down. The next one, I'm going to try to do the same. I'm a little worried about the speaker. Let's try and get it out of the way here. There we go. Getting that heat. Getting that heat. It's, it's very good for the board. Very good for everyone. Okay. Got the other one out. I'll put that down. So for this, all you got to do, you don't act like consulted the manual, and you don't, you shouldn't, have to connect the ground. I'm guessing the ground is in the ribbon. All you gotta do is just connect this guy up here with the battery, flow that in. Ooh, nice. And by nice, I mean that was awful. That was more nice. Okay. Now that's just gonna fold over with the ribbon cable there. Let's go ahead and put our motherboard in. Actually, Come on now. Let's go ahead and put our buttons in. I don't remember where I put the, oh, here they are. I went for the metallic buttons. You can go with the plastic buttons, but I was feeling, you know, I was just feeling exquisite when I went with this one. So I'm not sure what orientation this is supposed to go in. Is there a specific orientation? I'm not sure. I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. Maybe it's just a, a legacy pattern they kept but didn't really need from the original, they're just mimicking it, but they didn't really need it. So there we go, put those buttons in. I'm using the original membranes, they're, they're, mine are in pretty good shape. I cleaned them before, so they should be okay. This should already be pulled out, and what we're gonna do is just slide it right back on in, just like we had it before. Uh, oh dear. And then crunch those down on either side. Oops. Let me double check that. I, I, I told you I'm not a fan of these types of ribbons. I think I've already broken the plastic tab on it, so that's, you know, par for the course. Okay, so that's good. Now, before we uh, throw that in there, what I gotta do is we gotta solder in to pin C. Can you see that alright? Let's zoom down. Mm, yeah, that's as zoomed as it gets. Let's bring it up. Uh, that little pin that says C, that's it right there. You gotta solder to that. Let's go again. Beautiful soldering right there. Some of the best. What is going on there, man? Oh, God. There we go. I need it to look good on camera, man. I need it to look good on camera. All right. So, now, 
I need to take this out, and annoyingly, I screwed this back together. Give me another minute. Oh, hold on. I, I missed a step here. I'm I even mentioned this. I'm supposed to put this on the back of the thing. Uh, Should have done that first. You're supposed to put this on there. Give me a moment here. These guys are killing me, man. That's shitter. I'm gonna use Kapton tape instead. I'll be right back. Alright, that should cover it. Very nice. Perfect, even. Yeah, that's done the buttons. Great. Just gotta put the uh, battery charger in. This is my 3D printed thing I found online. I didn't want to pay the 8 bucks, so I printed it myself. It's okay. Um, we're gonna do the battery minus over here. Very nice. We'll check the bottom. Looks fantastic. Couldn't be better, you know? Look at that right there. Very nice. And this right here. Whoa, and this right here. Come on. You couldn't get worse. Oh, I'm going insane. Soldering Game Boy. So we got the wires in. I'm going to screw this down while I'm still looking at it. I didn't feel I needed to put any insulation underneath because it's sticking out about the same as the original battery terminals, so I think we should be okay. Those aren't going in because it's longer. The one across thread. Oh, very nice. Well, it comes together okay. This little wire I did a long time ago is kind of in the way, but. Whatever. It's still okay. We're keeping it. Okay, and then I gotta just wait for the battery like I was saying. Boop. And that'll go like that. Got a battery. I'm thinking about how I'm gonna put it in. I'm thinking here. And then like that or something. And then glue it down. How much rope do I need? And by rope I mean wire. Probably about this much, right? We'll try to trim it as long as we can. So, I tried to get, if you notice, it isn't the official boxy pixel one. That's simply because. I get it, it's imports and all that. You don't want to deal with the hassle, so. Alright, we're gonna put it in BT Plus here. BT Plus. Nice. BT Minus. Uh, so the only double-sided tape I have is thermal adhesive, so we're gonna use thermal adhesive Which is, you know, you know, it'll thermally <laughs> help the battery with uh, It'll really conduct that heat into the plastic <laughs> I'm sure nothing will go wrong uh, There's one there. Oh, come on now Get that finger oil all over that. That's good. Did I pick the dull pair of scissors again? Come on, dude. Okay, so this one goes here. Like this. Oh my lord. If anything could go wrong on this mod, it will. Alright, that's... Not on there that good, actually. Oh no, it is. Okay, it is. Yeah, that thermal adhesive works. I've had it, I've used this on like entire v video card VRMs, it's not, it handles heat well, so. Looks like we got a little bit of squishing to do with that. This guy wants to stick up, because cause the 3D print is kind of bent. It's not perfect, it only screws in on one side. Yeah, that looks good. Let's get the screws. Where did I put the, there they are. These guys here. I think this one's the long screw. Oh man, I can't even read. This thing's magnetic. I'm having a ball game here. I might be doing the long screw in the short hole type of thing here. Alright, so it's all back together. Um, I put the two short screws in here because I just, I found that it, it felt like it was about to strip out the long screws. So I went for the short ones. I could be wrong. Maybe there's a manual I should consult, but either way, it, it does seem like the short screws are supposed to go there and the long ones here. These felt like they were supposed to go because it's thicker. 
I don't know, I could be wrong. And of course, there's only four screws because the two screws underneath in that plastic hold the PCB in. A little bit different from the original. Uh, overall, it's really nice, and I'm super impressed with the... Like, I'm just looking at this, the craftsmanship of this. I don't know if BoxyPixel is just a, um, a reseller, a dropship reseller, or if they're actually making these. I haven't researched that. Either way, I'm really impressed. There's a little start, it's like, as someone who's like dabbled a little bit in CNC, this rough piece of aluminum, I'm just, I'm just impressed with how they even make this. I don't know if all, like, if this part is cast, and then they're like CNCing the inside. I'm sure some of this must be cast, and then they're just CNCing innards. It's just very impressive. Or I would say maybe the plastic buttons would be nicer, they're a little less rattly, but these do feel nice. I don't know. I do like the feeling of the aluminum buttons, but they do rattle a bit. Um, same with this. Uh, this power button seems to rattle. This is the original power button. It doesn't come with one. And it rattles up and down. It's not going to go anywhere, but uh, it, I don't... Yeah, again, it would be hard to get the CNC tolerances a little bit tighter. Maybe there's a different button I can 3D print or something like that. Overall, I, you're dying to see it. It does work. I knew it worked the whole time. Uh-oh. Um... You can light up this, you hold down this, five seconds, a menu comes up, because it's only brightness two, and I'm already satisfied. If you're using like a DMG, you can change it to like black and white, different colors. I'm going to put it back to full color. Different pixel effects, of course. You can get like a grid, sort of like traditional. I'm going to leave it as it is. Scroll up, Whoop. scroll up. You get uh, like frame blending, if you need that. I'm going to leave the position. It looks like it's centered pretty well. And of course, you can change the the bottom color. Boom. There's a little light there. Very nice. I actually kind of like it on the plain white for this, or the gray. I am the most bland person on earth, but um, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to leave it on the white color. I kind of like that. Oh, I might turn it off to save battery power. It's very nice looking. Hold it for another like three or so. It goes away. Let's put a game in it real quick here. We'll do Shantae. Ooh. See, a little, little rough on the edges here and there. Like, there's no bottom. No bottom, I don't know if you can see that. You cannot. There's no bottom cover at the bottom. You can just see straight down to the bottom through the motherboard. I, you cannot see that, but you can just see straight down. There's a few rough edges with this, but it's still very nice in the hand. Volume's good. Speaker grill's about the same size. And of course, it's an OLED screen, what can I say? The contrast is super, super nice, you can't beat it. I really, the one thing I'm going to say from this, I hope they make one for the Game Boy Advance. I hope someone finds <laughs> an OLED screen that is the right size for Game Boy Advance, because as much as I like the Game Boy Color, I like the library that's on the Game Boy Advance a lot as well. So I really hope that an OLED screen is scrounged up somewhere and brought in. Let me zoom down a little bit here. Actually, I can't. Let me zoom up a little bit here. Camera doesn't do it justice. You have to see it in part, like any OLED screen. Just like your phone, like most phones today. It just looks, it just looks very nice. Even compared to the IPS screens that I've seen on like the Game Boy Advanced and all that. It's just, I hope they do bring an OLED to other old portable consoles, because this is nice. Um, I'm completely lost to what I'm doing. Oh, I should probably leave. Um, but anyways, this video is long enough of me fumbling around. I think we'll leave it at this. This is a very nice mod, and if you were wondering if the boxy pixel does fit inside, it does. It certainly does uh, fit inside the OLED. I'm distracted. Um, <laughs> the OLED fits inside the boxy pixel. Hope you found this somewhat interesting. We'll see you next time.